Well, howdy, 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 near the senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this. More Dungeon Mans. Yes, indeed. Even after the loss of my last Dungeon Mans, my last Lady Ranger Mans, now we have Drexel, a new level one Lady Ranger Mans. We're going to adventure. It is 8.09 p.m. Goodbye, Amelia. Amelia came in the window and just left through the window, too. It is 8.09 p.m. To adventure we go. Oh, well, I guess not quite. But we are here. To adventure. To adventure. Yeah, I, I don't need you to tell me anything. I, I've got it. Thank you. We'll put on this, this, oops, sorry, bonk the pop shield there, didn't mean to, my apologies. I should still have star sh whatever they are, those things. <laughs> so, I don't want any, we'll cancel that, yes indeed, thank you. Uh, it's so difficult sometimes, it, it'll take mouse input sometimes, and just ignore keyboard, and then other times, it'll just do keyboard and ignore mouse, so... Nerf. Oh wait, I do need to just get some informations. <laughs> so ah, some of these books have pictures. Uh, yeah. There we go. I don't get anything out of it, but still, there should be some stuffs like. How about that? Indeed. This is a lot of artifacts from antiquity. Holy smokes. Okay. Close that and then see if we can pick up enough that we can get rid of some of the sparkles. <laughs> That's a lot of sparkles. Okay, let's see what we have. Like, this is the only thing that's possible to use there. Let's see if this is any better. Oh, holy smokes, that's a lot better than what I used to have. Oh, yeah. All that extra damage. Yeah. Very good. Very good. We've got some good stuffs. Up and over. Up. Oh. It, I'm gonna have to go around you the long way, aren't I? It happens. Because I got points to spend. Hey, you. Let's get to spending. I got a lot of points to spend. Okay, everything up to 21 first. Everything up to 21. Even Foom, which I don't worry about. Because I'm not a Foomster. There we go. Now what I want to do is just keep everything like this because I'm weird that way. And I got the points to spend, so why not? Bingo! Alright. Yes indeed, thank you. Okay, that's all we have. We'll still go sell some of this junk. In fact, most of it. To the overworld. Ah, itchy nose. My apologies. Alright. Don't worry, guy. Well, I don't know if I need to bring you just everything that's not equipped or locked. Yep, thank you. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to break level 10. Now that I know what's going on with the towers and stuff, I'm going to be a lot more careful. I, I don't like the fact that I had my head eaten by rats in my last game very strong, powerful, head-eating rats. Alright. Let's pick up junk and kill a whole bunch of things so I can power up a little bit. Only one way to get tougher, and that's to crush skulls and then collect just 
skulls that you've crushed. I'm not quite sure where I was going with that one. Still, the point is, though, the only way to get experience in a game like this is to crush skulls. So, I'm going to do my best. Is there, oh, there was something in front of me. Ha! Uh, do you hear it, though? It, that explosion sound again. This time, they're exploding when they die. And they weren't with Dreffels, my last character. But now, they are. That exploding sound when they die. Wherein, with Dreffels, my last character, when they died, they just died. There was no explosion sound. How odd. I wonder why. I wonder if it's the weapon? Oh, hi. Well, I don't know, because... All weapons seem to be causing explosion sounds. Makes me curious. Makes me wonder. Hey, you. Oh, really? Yeah. There we go. And you. You are nothing but free floating experience for me. There is nothing else that you are worth. Who? Very good. Thank you. Definitely, since I am a Lady Ranger man's shellbreaker. Yes, indeed. Which means shellbreaker. Very good. I still don't know what the psycho focus is. What is that? Oh. I've never had any psychomancy powers, that's why, so I've never had to deal with psychomancy, so of course I wouldn't know what to do with the psycho psycho focus. Because I've I've never had to deal with that not being a psychomancer. I'm a I'm a Ranger Man's. Ranger Man's don't have to deal with all that that stuff. We just shoot things at a distance. And occasionally whack him with a sword when we misplace our intelligence. Ooh. I'm good at misplacing my intelligence. <laughs> since that's not actually what I'd meant to say, but since I did say it, it was funny and it made me laugh. I don't always make myself laugh at the things I say, but periodically I do. I don't think I'm tremendously humorous, but I do think that since I am a writer, you know, I do know how to occasionally turn a phrase, not always, just every once in a while. And it, it's hard to think on my feet especially, so I, I need time to think of these things. So if I'm ever funny, when I have, don't have an opportunity to think about it, that, that's pretty rare. So, yeah, I, I, I feel a little proud of the occasional turn of phrase. Because it's not often I gotta come up with them. Like I say, it's usually I gotta sit and think. Because I'm not one of those that is fast on my feet. And that's okay. Not everybody has to be. Uh, I can write and I can come up with good turns of phrases with time. And so that that's cool. That's fine. I don't have to be fast on my feet. Okay, down. We'll take this one right up here. We might be able to clear this place out. It is 8.18 p.m. after all. I wouldn't mind clearing out this place in the first episode. I like the way they explode. It, it's very... What is the word? It's... It makes you feel strong, is what I'm trying to say. Because it's... You know, the, the screen shakes a little, and there's this extra boom crash. So you get auditory and visual feedback. You know, it's all very exciting. You know, your brain likes information. Your brain likes feedback. Your brain likes to get st stuff. So, seeing the screen move 
and hearing sounds when it happens. It's it's all on a visual and aural sense. Very very exciting. Ah. But then you also have to be aware that a lot of times when you're enjoying yourself with the auditory and visual input, a lot of what's happening is you are being manipulated, especially if it's advertising. Like if you go to a casino, say, where the lights and the, the sights and the sounds are all to, to keep you excited to have that auditory and visual input to keep your brain going I like what I'm seeing and hearing because when that happens you're gonna spend money so as long as you're aware there's absolutely nothing wrong of course with hey you enjoying auditory and visual input just be aware of of what and why. That's very cool. I like the fact that I just leveled up again because guess what? Mini feathers or po power drive. Darn straight. Power drive. Okay, we've got quick dash. For whatever reason, it just never continuously shows up. And what I mean by that is take a look on this. That list, it's not showing as being on the, the list. And it won't. I don't understand. And yet it's on the list, as you see. It's odd. Oh, hi. You're an ugly little thing. I is dead now, so... Yay for that. Hey, you. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Procedural generation is fun. And I like games that have good procedural generation on them. And while I don't understand how or why anyone could ever, oopsie, <laughs> make up the dungeons of like the Oopfels and the places like that, because there's no way anyone would, would put together a place like, like that. It is just... The architecture makes zero sense. Even if you go on there, well, the monsters have modified it. Well, the monsters, you know, it takes time and effort to do stuff, so... They're not just going to do random things. Okay, let's head down. And let's also see if I've picked up any good stuff. I doubt I have any stuff that's any good yet. Because the, the good stuff that I was given from my academy, it's going to be a while before anything I pick up matches that equipment. That's what I meant to say, equipment. That was really difficult to say. Oh, that's heading to the bad guy. So we're going to go and finish this stuff out first because I'm not too worried about not killing the bad guy, but still, always safe to be safe. Uh, it's probably not always actually safe to be safe because if you're really safe and you don't take a risk you're not going to get experience and you don't get experience you're not going to go up in a level and you don't go up in a level well and guess what you're not going to get tougher and you're going to get your head eaten by rats the next time you step out of your your safe zone so safety is not always safe it may be dangerous and frightening to go into these areas and do things, but if you don't, the bad guys will eat your face. Yep, he's right down there. How far? Oh, as soon as I see anything, hello? Well, 
Is this? I thought for sure that I would have run into the big bad by this time. But oddly, I haven't. What an odd configuration for the place. Hi. I must admit, it's procedural generation for the win, I guess. Oh, hi. Ooh, that taught you a lesson. Here I was talking about how. I mean, in, in here. The thing about procedural generation is because it's random, everything really just looks the same. Nothing's really different. I mean, it's all different, but because it's random, it's all just one thing is the same as the other. Okay, I don't know where you are, but do I have any good potions? Like, bark skin and... That's it, huh? I do have a bolster armor, though. Well, there you are. How about anything else any good? Oh, well, yeah. I'll drink that, and then... Yeah, everything... Oh, well, shoes would be nice, wouldn't it? I guess a... I guess that's it. That's good. Let's go see if I can kill this thing. Hi. Yeah, actually, now that I've gotten that close. How about that? By golly. Just another cut-rate trash mob. That's a lot of goodies he dropped. I like that. Hi. Please explode for me. Oh, I like that sound. Give me the auditory and visual feedback. Okay, pick up all the treasures and all the goodies, all the coins, and then we'll head out and back to the academy. It is 8.26 p.m. If you like what you've seen or like what you've heard, if you could toss me a like, that would be very cool. I'm laughing because that was funny the way I killed him. Funny the way I murdered him. But if you could toss me a like, that would be very cool. Greatly appreciated. I do appreciate all the positive validation I get from my existence. And if you could check out my various links. Oh, very good. Very, very good. I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com, Google+. Plus. It would be very cool if you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron. Very, very cool indeed. But if you cannot donate, or you simply do not donate, I do take all good wishes. I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest, so thank you very much. And of course, if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be very cool and greatly appreciated. But of course, if you were not down with it, I would understand. Let's see, yeah, that's about the best thing I do on all that. But if you are down with it, I will do my best to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of time. Okay, let's go down here and sell all this crapola. Oops, not too far. Hi, dude. Just, just buy it. Thank you. I'll be back later, Mayor. Oh, excuse me. Tommy is upset. It's always upset. Okay, to the Oakfells.